this beef set going. This is actual beef. These two were talking so much shit. These two being j Ro bitch ass and Huga bitch ass, right? These two bitch asses was in the yes. Discord talking mad shit. Your girl. Talking mad shit, like gangster shit. Yo mama jokes, whole nine yards. All of it. All of it. So they've been itching to, to get their soon. beef set in. They've been itching to settle the dispute. And I'm tired of them complaining and shit in my chat when I'm trying to have other matches. All right, you just got to wait your turn. All right, you got to wait your line. All right, it's they line now. It's they turn now. So let's see. See if they do anything ridiculous. I'm pretty sure you're going to see a lot of a lot of dumb shit. Some mashing. Mashing. Ooh, we got four twos. Rock wall. This is like the anti j -Ro. Any character that's going to keep him out to keep from doing that dumb shit. Look, there it is. Stagger. Ooh, down one. Oh, my God. Already. Already. There we go. Air to air. Ooh, drops the combo. Gets the whiff punish anyways. In this tornado. J-Ro. j, -Row. j still mashing. He's still mashing. Oh, ooh, there we go. 4-2. Down one. Grab. Okay, okay. Okay. There we go. Anti. Oh, no. Jumps over the tornado. Okay. j Row. j Row getting grabs. Ooh, we got whiff punish on the dumb shit. We got whiff punish on the dumb shit. j Row, of course. Banging out Fatal Blow in the middle of the freaking first round. Fight. Of course. And getting punished for it. Here we go. 4-2. Rock wall restand. Of course, j Row is still pressing. Still. j Row stay mashing. j Row stay mashing. There we go. Look. Stay mashing. Stay mashing. Even after. Getting interrupted. Okay, watch. Here we go. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Okay, tick throw. All right, I'll give him that. All right. Tick throw. No just frame. You're a bitch ass. No just frame. No just frame. Not at all. There we go. Look. Pressing. Pressing. Watch. Now one. Okay. Stagger into string. Knockdown. String. Stagger. Look. Ooh. He blocked. Ooh. Stay looking for grabs. But then stay looking for uppercuts anyways. Ooh. Ooh. I believe in that. I believe in that. Hugo getting assaulted. Fight. J Row now with the corner and the jacks and the mashing. There we go. Ooh, pressing buttons. We getting wake up stand ones. Ooh, we getting rock walls. Four three. Does the whole string to escape the whiff punish? Smart move from Huga. There we go. Finishes the string with the unsafe overhead. Made the read that J Row was gonna be blocking. Gets a grab. Now we got corner shorty hop. Probably shorty hop to avoid an up three. Oh, there we go. Four two. There we go. Buttons into the punish. No punish, actually. That was a raw hit. There's the jail. Catches him on the roly poly. Catches him on the roly poly. Into ground fire. Into godlike. Huga taking the first set. Huga taking the first set on J Row bitch ass. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Today is like. The day, today is a day of, of like, everything is very unpredictable of, of that. That's what it is. Today is the day of everything is unpredictable. Holy Dragon won a match, okay? Like, what the fuck? Hold on, my ear is itching. What the shit? God damn. Like, one hair is like crawling into my ear. I'm like, fuck you, get out of here. I'm trying to talk to my people. What was I talking about? Anyways, Huga. Right now, one to zero Central. on j Row. Let me switch the legs. I'm in, I'm hurt. Of course. Okay. All right, j Row switching to Johnny Cage, looking to, I think, counterpick Huga Cetrion. Huga decided to run to a top tier. Was sick and tired of losing all the time. Was like, fuck this shit, man. I'm going to pick a top tier. Pick a top tier. And j Row is like, fuck, man. God damn. I knew there'd be some kind of fruity feminine character that would be top tier that this bitch ass could pick. Because Hugo only picked them fruity feminine characters. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. We got punches. We got punches. Ooh, we got punish. Odd punish. Not necessarily what I would punish that with. Oh, but j Row pressing. Pressing on the jail and now getting the zones. All right, Hugo. Hugo getting conversions off of everything. Good Lord. j Row. 
just getting hit out of every frame trap. He just, God, it's just never stopping. It's never lucky. He's still doing it. Ooh, he went for the cancel. Fuck that up. Get this unbreakable un... Ooh, we messed up the combo. Oh, but he stay looking for crabs. Ooh. Holy shit, what man, what kind of what, what the fuck kind of match are we watching here, ladies and gentlemen? What the fuck is going on on my television tube? Okay, yeah, just whiff the show you can. Oh yeah, just whiff the punish of the whiff. Look, no bar, j Ro, Just wrecking it. Wrecking it so much he don't have no bar to convert because he be spending it on damage. Oh, whiffing. Whiffing and then hitting at the back end of the stream. Flawless blocks the wake up and then grabs. I like it. Ooh, j Ro. J-Ro mashing out of control. Blowing up highs with the down 2KB. Here we go. Look, T-Bag. Ooh, T-Bag in the nooch. T-Bag in the nooch. Full screen. God-like. Ooh, J-Ro. J-Ro making a statement. Making a statement saying, no, this set, this set is going to the limit. We are now one squared. One squared, ladies and gentlemen. J Row. J Row says we are going to have a match. We are going to the limit, okay? It is either going to be 4 1 my way or it's going to be 5 4, right? But it's going to happen like this. Chat is saying play them on the Wi Fi. Both of these clowns are on Wi Fi. That's why it to the cancellation. Okay, they cancellate, they shit. That's what happens. Fan That's girl. how it goes. All right, J Ro. J Ro. Johnny Man's Cage was ninja. the truth that took him to the promised land. Hugo switching back to his old main. Hugo switching to his old main. I guess his experimentation with the top tier ends there. It's like, all right, all right, I gotta win with the top tier, but I also got a loss. For the rest of this, only wins. Here we go. Sweaty ass katana. Hugo plays a sweaty ass katana. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You guys are going to be in for some excitement because J Ro going to mash and Hugo going to sweat. J Ro starting out with buttons. Hugo getting that crush out the gates. He said, please keep pressing buttons. Keep pressing buttons. I will get all of these crushes. Ooh. Nice J Ro with the anti air. Caught it really, really early in the jump. j Ro catching her pressing. Finishes it safely. Looking for the breakaway. And gets the grab. Forward, forward, forward. Ooh, up two. Huga going to convert. Oh, caught on the flutter. j Ro anti-airs. Dashing. Was he trying to catch an anti-air? Or was he just dashing in and mashing buttons like he usually does? Huga though, with the air-to-air. -air. A little bit too late on the jab follow-up. To get that full combo. And now J-Ro's got the corner. J-Ro backing it up. Looking for a shimmy. Looking for an auto shimmy after a real shimmy. And Hugo getting the full jump in combo. Goes for butt instead of side swap. Hugo wanting the damage. Hugo getting the full on with punish. He's got to be looking. Oh, yeah. He was looking for the breakaway. J-Ro instead spreads it on a roll. J-Ro's bulldogging. Bulldogging Hugo into the corner. No anti-air on the jump. Ooh, the counter on the jump. Godlike combo. Godlike. Ooh. Final round. Huga making that shit look majestic. Huga make. Ooh, ooh, here we go. J Row with an up two at max height. There we go. Gets the launch in the corner. No escape. You gotta take all of these little peaches. Take all the peaches in the mid on wake up. Oh, Hugo's got to start blocking a wake up, and that's the one time he goes for the grab. Here we go. We're in the mid grab vortex, ladies and gentlemen. J Ro with that godlike mid grab. Mid grab loop. It's dangerous in the corner when you're in there with a character like Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage has a very, very scary, very, very nasty strike throw mix up. And when you couple that with the very, very slow, but not seeable mid in 4-4-4, four, 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 it just becomes a blizzard of coin flips when you're in the corner. So it's not that Huga got outplayed. 
It was that Huga got outplayed enough to be put in that situation in the first place. That would be my takeaway in that matchup. But nonetheless, we are at 2-1, j Row. MKO says, check the pool. Let's take a look at the pool. Did we get a dono? We are at 28 bucks in the pot, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are fighting for a portion of $28, which means that I think they'll get like a nickel a piece, except for the champ, who I think will get like $4 or some Sonya's shit, which is gangster as fuck, ladies and gentlemen. Gangster as fuck. Who is fighting for $4? Let the games begin. $4 on the line. Who gets the championship? These guys are fighting for points in the road to the belt. j Ro sticking with Johnny. Huka. Sticking with, with Cole Tonner. Huga catching the low shot. Went and changed variations. This is Huga's mix-up variation. Now, one of the things I've been telling Huga in my sets with him myself is that he does rely too heavily on mix. Like that shit. You roll the dice. You roll the dice. Ooh, but Huga. Huga cashing it in. Cashing in the full-on combo for the big damage. When you're a character like Katana, and you have the ability to zone effectively, it may be smart to cash in early, to get an early health lead, and then harass your opponent with the zones. Unfortunately, unfortunately, well, never mind. We got the mix. We got the anti-air zones. Looks like j Ro is going to have to hold these zones. He's going to have to hold these zones. Fight. Look, ooh, the whiff. And the back two in the nooch. j Ro now with no bar to break away. So Huga going for a lot of damage. Ooh, whiffing down twos. Expecting the highs. j Ro, j Ro straight mashing out of control. There we go. We got Dick. j Ro doing it the safe to breakable variation when Huga didn't have bar to break. But Huga rolling away, getting a full combo. Oh, but j Ro says I will up two. But j Ro also says I will drop my combo on the up two. Nice, unbreakable, crushing blow damage. Oh, j Ro dropping the combo free, and Huga able to convert for a full combo punish. We are now at two square. This is fucking competitive, ladies and gentlemen. This matchup is competitive as fuck. I thought it was gonna be a 5-0 sweep from Huga, and at the beginning, it was looking like I was probably gonna be all right. But j Ro. Came back and actually won a match, surprisingly enough, and then won another one. But it seems like Huga has figured out j Rose Johnny Cage. So I think j Rose's strategy is find a character to counterpick, win that match, try to win the next match. That way, if they beat me, I'm two matches ahead and I can counterpick again, right? So we Get are now at 2-1 squared. j Rose's going to counterpick, take the win, putting him at 3-2. Right? If he can win the next match, his plan will be foolproof. But if he loses the next match, his plan will be foolproof. Or his plan will be ruined. But he's got to win this match. Listen, mathematically speaking, I did the numbers just now. Mathematically speaking, j Ro only has a 50% chance of beating Huga. Right? And Huga has a 50% chance of beating j Ro. But Huga is a genetic freak, and he's not normal. So Huga actually has a 75% chance of beating j Ro, And j Ro only has a 33 and a third percent chance of beating Huga. At sacrifice. Oh, Huga trying to punish early. j Ro with the unga bunga teleport like a fucking madman. Scorpion is like the perfect character for j Ro, Except for when he's nooching. When he's neutral, ducking in the nooch. Oh, caused the breakaway. No punish on the breakaway from j Ro. Looks like he was breaking away, but not with a purpose. More out of fear. Huga getting the jump in. Ooh, looking for double jump combos into the unbreakable. No need to. No need to give it up. Maybe he was just looking for the extra damage without having to spend bar. But whatever. Huga recovers. Takes the round with a grab. Now Huga sitting in a very nice position. Lots of room to work with. Except for when j Ro catches you with a combo and then drops it. Huga getting the unbreakable meterless damage. Punishes with a down two. Uh, probably could have got a little bit more than that. 
J Row catching him with the mix on the teleport cancels. J Row not finishing for optimal damage, finishing for optimal positioning. And now we got 1 1 twos. Oh, Katana strike throw on the down one. You always got to be careful about pressing. Ooh, J Row catching the whiff punish after rolling away or running away. But still getting caught. J Row with bar to break away. Hugo made the read, but it was all for nothing. J Row now with no meter. And Hugo with the crumple station into the boot. Motherfucking godlike, baby. Motherfucking godlike. Hugo with the read on top of read on top of read. We are now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at 3 1 Hugo. 3 2. 3 2 Hugo. 3 to 2 Hugo. J Row opened up. With Johnny Cage, Hugo said, let me pick my cheap variation that I do with my mix-ups that's not even real but only work online. But let me use that shit on you because you free online. And it worked. He blew up j Rose Johnny Cage. He just blew up j Rose Scorpion. j Rose still staying with Scorpion because he dumb as fuck. He not even trying to win at this point. I should just give Hugo 10 points. But whatever, we gonna let it rock. Maybe j Rose wants to make an adjustment. Maybe he want to try some sort of new shit, but that shit got figured out last match, dog. You got you got destroyed. You got crumpled stiltskin, right? So go spin your ass some yarn made out of hair or some shit, right? And that's just how it's going to be with that, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. This is the fight for $4, ladies and gentlemen. These two men fighting to get the belt, fighting to get the championship prize. That is about 4 bucks. But go ahead and donate to the Macharino if you want to make it a little bit more worth their while. These guys are sweating for your entertainment. Me, I'm just chilling back, making fun of them. Hopefully you all find that shit to be funny. If you don't, just like roll around on the ground and get the fuck out of here. Look, like j Row rolling around on the ground, then doing dumbass teleports. Ooh, but j Row playing the poke game, looking for mix. Ooh, j Row just not even trying. Not even trying to not be dumb. He just unga bunga everything. Hugo's gonna win this just purely pressing block. Missed that punish. Maybe went to block a little, punish a little too early. Here comes the mix, of course. He ain't got no bar to cancel. Oh, there we go. Nice neutral jump to bait the uppercut. j Row probably looking for a high or a grab. And you know you stay mashing. Hugo delayed the neutral jump and now Hugo playing the mix-up game. Hold these zones real quick. Hold these zones. While wow, Hugo now with favorable positioning and a lot of range. Nope, never mind. He's getting teleported. Ooh, of course, J-Row going to teleport again. Nice. Teleport into the cancel. Drops his combos. He's not really that good anyways. Ooh, nice. Jump forward. Punish with the side swap in midair. Hugo trying to shine. Drops the combo. Trying to be magnificent, it happens. But Hugo getting the back one string. Nice big punish. No, punishes him with something super slow. Kind of hard to punish with that online, but whatever. Yeah, okay, go for max damage. Ooh, Hugo getting the down one. j Row always mashing. Always mashing. Gets hit. And has to get this dope ass 380 damage. Crushing blow into the fucking skull crush. Hugo, I'm sorry. Hugo is godlike. This is the Hugo matchup I was expecting. We are now at four to two. Are we really at four to two, Hugo? Match point? This is how I called it in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I called it in the late in the beginning. I was like, yo, Hugo is about to free up J Row. He is about to free up J Row. He's gonna take his faux dollars. Courtesy of Mortal Kombat Online. Thank you. For donating to the pot, you're a good man, and the people believe in you, right? Hugo's like, I'm going to get this $4. I'm going to do it by just doing some dumbass unga bunga shit and blocking a lot. That's it. That's all I'm going to do is just block because J.R.O. is a dummy, and he's just going to teleport. Katana. So I'm going to block that, and then like Best when choice. I'm not blocking, I'm going to do some crazy unga bunga shit. J.R.O. on match point doesn't want to be known as the free jacks. I thought... He would pull out Jax at least one time in this set, at least to save himself from losing the whole set. But we've been clowning his Jax so much now. He wanna, he wanna be like, I could play other characters. 
Huga is saying, dude, didn't I already beat this Johnny Cage? Like, what the fuck? You, you should you should just get away from that, right? Let's see how it goes. We are on set point for Huga. Set point for two. Huga ooh, with a neutral jump. Flutter. Oh, you got to think he wasn't trying to break. You got to think he wasn't trying to break. Huga for low poke. Low poke and the low fans. J-Ro going for the staggers. Getting the pressure going. Safe. Still pressing buttons. Huga said, no, dog. Let me get this. Let me get this. Doesn't convert all the way. J-Ro dropping combos. Looking uh, looking pretty free there. Huga goes for the back throw for the side swap now. No whip punish, but gets the crossover on the whip punish. Huga didn't anticipate the breakaway. j Ro is escaping. j Ro now mashing, but he's getting caught. Huga going for the double jump swag of Lucius. Ooh, Huga trying to look fresh. Oh, whiff and chainsaws though. Whiff and chainsaws, ladies and gentlemen. All right. J Ro getting the safe pressure, but still mashing afterwards. J Ro still mashing, gets interrupted with a back one four to lose the round. Huga now sitting on match round, set point active. J Ro got to do something hot. He got to do something hot to even stay in the game. He's got to not get hit by this shit. Ooh, J Ro navigating the obstacle course. J Ro climbing the aggro crag of zones. Getting the grab, saying, back in the corner, bitch. Eat my meteor, wake up. You got no bar, you need a block. Ooh, but j Ro dropping the combo like a dummy. Now we got bar. Ooh, Hugo fighting out. Fighting out with a double jump combo to get the fuck out of there. j Ro with no meter to escape, has to eat the whole combo into the crushing blow, and then a bait, and then a bait. Ooh. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Huga, Huga, Huga is not even real. He is on some next level shit. Thank you for the follow, Sweat Spectre. Ooh, the ghost of sets, the ghost of beef sets past. The specter of sweat has appeared. Ooh, that was a sweaty, sweaty ass set. Huga, Huga, just godlike. Belts in the chat for Huga, ladies and gentlemen. Belts in the chat, playing against J Ro's laggy Wi Fi ass. Huga, not getting no respect because I was too slow with it. But Huga, taking it. Five to two, our final score in the Beef Set League. And that shit was godlike. That shit was straight up for show godlike.